And now at noon, early federal findings in the deadly dive boat tragedy information released within just the last hour. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Michelle Griego. I'm Kenny Choi. The National Transportation Safety Board just released its preliminary report on the dive boat fire that killed more than 30 people off the Southern California coast. Ann Makovic is here with the very latest. It is a two-page report released less than an hour ago, and it runs down the tragedy from the crew member's perspective, since they're the only ones who survived. It describes one waking up to a noise and seeing the fire rise from a compartment below him. He alerted the other four crew members above deck. They radioed the Coast Guard, then tried to access the compartment below where the passengers were sleeping. The report goes on to say, unable to use the ladder, which was on fire, the crew members jumped down to the main deck. One crew member broke his leg in the process and tried to access the salon and galley compartment, which was fully engulfed by fire and thick smoke. Unable to open the window and overwhelmed by smoke, the crew jumped overboard. The report goes on to say that two crew members and the captain then swam to the stern, got back on the boat, but they still couldn't get to the deck below because it was blocked by fire. So they launched a small emergency boat and picked up the two remaining crew members in the water. We have some new video this afternoon of the salvage team and recovery divers at the accident site. Coast Guard officers have been working to stabilize and bring that boat out of the water since it sank on Labor Day. And overnight, the final body of the 34 people who died in that fire was retrieved. The NTSB report made no mention of safety lapses. That is still part of an ongoing criminal investigation. The LA Times is reporting that passengers may not have received thorough safety briefings.